But welcome to my bedroom. This is basically what I do at night when I take off my topper. I just get my hair out of the way. I've got some tapings already in. And I just want to show you what I do with my topper just to keep it looking glam the next day. I try not to use too much heat on it just to really increase the longevity of the piece as well. With lighter hair colours, they can be a little bit more fragile to heat. So I've got a really clever way of showing you what I do when I take it off. It does unfortunately involve having Ben and the ugly tripod in my bedroom, which I really, really, I'll be honest, I hate having him in my room, but it makes styling my hair topper so much easier. So Ben's got hair, the topper's got clips. I don't like to pin through the silk top, so I just clip him on, and that way I've got my hair dryer here. So what I can then do is really, you know, get him back into placement, make sure the hairline's nice and flat. So I unclip, I take it off, and then I pop him onto the head, and then I get my trusted Tresemme spray ready. So I start by spritzing and you know, I'm fairly generous. I really want to detangle and I just want that product to get through, you know, quite nice and evenly. So I go around, it smells nice. It really helps maybe get rid of any odors. Maybe if you've gone to the gym, maybe if you've done any cooking, it just helps the piece feel refreshed without always having to wash it. So now that it's not obviously going to be really, really wet, but you need it to be somewhat wet. So the rollers do their job. now. These rollers I've bought from Amazon, you can find them in boots. The bigger the roller, the bigger the curl. The smaller the roller, the tighter the curls. I don't really like the very small rollers. I will link these for you so you can see what size I use. For this length, I really like this size. I got them from Amazon, quite cheap. So it does take a little bit of time. Sometimes I put my music on and just get ready to go. Okay, so now that I feel like the Tresemme Heat Defense Spray is evenly throughout, it feels a little bit damp. You don't want it to be too wet, that will create too much moisture. So I start with the front, I grab roller number one, I pop it at the ends and I just curve up and round and then I just go up, up. Sometimes the end wants to flick out, it can be a bit tricky. If you're really finding it hard with the ends flicking out, just spritz it a tiny bit more and then it will always listen to you. This does take time, does take practice, so it is worth learning and taking your time to learn this because it's gonna save you so much time the next day. You'll see at the end of the video how nice it looks the next day. I leave this overnight. Sometimes if I don't wear my topper for a couple of days, maybe I've had a really lazy weekend, it's brilliant. You should see how great the curls are and they last all day. So that is roller number one. And then I'm just going to literally repeat the process. Now, the smaller the sections you take, again, the tighter the curl and the more curls you'll have. So at this point, I'm just going to keep grabbing a roller and rolling up. If you just want your curls to be super loose, you can grab bigger sections. And remember, you go up, round, in the direction that you want the curl to go. So I want the curl to go this way. So I just wrap, and I don't wrap like this, I wrap like that, so away from the hair. That, and then sometimes it might come out, but that's fine. Just grab it and wrap it back round. And again, like I said, it takes a bit of practice. I've been doing this for years, even when I was wearing clip-ins. I would always do this. The way the curls hold is more so than a curling wand, it's crazy. And then you just work your way around. At this point, we're just going to speed up the video. Here is the end result. So I just literally clipped her on and I did absolutely nothing else. I just got my perfect fringe brush, which by the way, we're told are the best brushes ever. And you get one free in every purchase. And I just smoothed it out. Now, what I love about this look is that initially when you first take the rollers out, you're gonna think, oh my God, it's really quite sick smooth. But as you smooth it out, 
it really does it drops but in a really nice way and as your evening goes on those curls will become more and more natural they're completely heat free totally safe for your topper and I got ready in such quick time so I really recommend at least giving this method a go if you're worried about it looking too curly too bouncy remember take large rollers take big sections and maybe just unwind the rollers an hour before you're planning to do your hair and just allow that time to drop i really hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching